time, Century Walk has worked hard to help beautify the city's downtown, earning them the trust and respect they've strived for since day one. Now, the committee finds as they expand, the size and price of the artwork start to increase, along with the city's involvement. As we've expanded and gotten into more and more sculptures and murals of a larger size and other things, the cost has gone up. So the city involvement has also increased. We've gotten money from the Special Events and Cultural Amenities Fund, and the City Council has been very generous in funding Century Walk. We had to go at it slow, and the Council recognized that because they only authorized us for funding for one year. And then the next year there was no guarantee, and the next year there was no guarantee. So their involvement has been good. It's, it's brought them up to a point now where we have about $2 million of art in place. Not quite a million is the city's uh, contribution, so it's getting closer and closer to 50% from the city. We've gotten a great deal of support from a lot of places. The private donors have been very generous. They've paid for grand openings, for sculptures, for murals. The biggest fundraising is, uh, that we did was is right behind me here with the faces on the uh, Great Concerto. Um, we were short on money from that, from what the city gave us, so we came up with this idea of, of uh, putting the faces on the wall as they were the audience looking back at the performers. This was a new thing. I mean, who thought anybody would pay a thousand bucks to have a face painted up there? And it's a story in and of itself of the 55 faces. There's husbands that surprise their wives with a face, but when the wife maybe found out about the surprise, she did, did a uh, get back at the husband. There's people who did it for their neighbors. There's a crossing guard up there. Even Brand Baboski has a personal connection to the great concerto. He invited his grandchildren to try and spot someone familiar amongst the ensemble of faces. And I said, can you find me anywhere? And they didn't. And then they pointed to it and they said, but Bopa, you've got such a big nose. <laughs> I said, really? I said, i got to talk to that artist. <laughs> Each piece has, has a great story. If we take time to learn the stories of our past, it'll you know, make us feel more connected to our future. I, just, I really believe that um, we've got to tell our stories and celebrate them. And that's a lot of what Century Walk will do for us forever. Built from an earlier concept of public art, the Doughboy, representing World War I's American foot soldier, was first erected at Burlington Square Park in 1926. After decades of battling against the elements, one Century Walk member realized how languished the piece had become and knew the city of Naperville and its residents needed to help restore it to its original form. And this young lady, Dee Pasternak, said, we guys gotta do something. She um, saw that the Doughboy in Burlington Square Park was in such disrepair. She was ashamed of, you know, the community for letting that happen, and she just took that on herself. It was well over a hundred thousand dollar project, and the community rallied and donated the money. Now we have a, a beautiful restoration of, of that piece. Among the many Napervillians drafted in the war, a young William W. Schatzer, one of the nation's best college running backs, was called to duty, leaving behind close friends, a loving family, and a pregnant wife. In 1944, this U.S. Naval Air Corpsman gave the ultimate sacrifice for his country and community. In tribute to his life and his time at North Central College, a life-size statue was placed at Championship Plaza. It was really um, something in, um, to see his, his family and his wife, you know, see what North Central had done to um, commemorate him. Though Naperville lost one of its shining stars, not all the stories that came out of World War II were as heartbreaking. In the center of downtown Naperville on Washington Street, Veterans Valor tells one such story of the greatest generation. We had a group of veterans who came to us and said, you know there's a wonderful story. We have five young men who in World War II grew up close to one another. They each went to a different branch of the service and each came home with either a silver star or its equivalent. And they said, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could do a statue or a sculpture dedicated to them and dedicated by Veterans Day? Burn the 
dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed. Today I'm coming here because uh, somebody made some nice monuments from us. Oh, it's quite an honor that I never expected. I don't know what to think of it yet. These men kind of mean something special to me because I've always wanted to uh, create a sculpture or something to honor the men and women that have given, that have put their lives on the line to protect the American dream. And this is my way of being able to fulfill that dream. And what better place to do that than here in Naperville, one of the cities that is a prime example of what it is to live the American dream. the century walk also bridges the generations you know pulls us all together as I said we can bring our children and our grandchildren and tell the stories the wall of faces at the um, Shanauer Memorial was an idea that came out of the September 11 committee as they were trying to plan all the elements that were going to be there um, to commemorate um, the tragedy that happened that day when so many lives were lost. And so they went to the school children and they had some workshops and they asked the children to, to draw these faces that represented the lives lost. And then um, they had a workshop of adults who, who created these faces in clay that then became the molds. I think the children um, who had an opportunity to, to do those faces, um, to be on the wall, and then for that wall to be there to remind us of the lives lost, it's... it's um, it's really something. The Wall of Faces lies in relief behind a monument constructed of rubble from ground zero. Here, the words, freedom isn't free, echo from the recent past, as written by one of Naperville's own, Commander Dan Shanauer, who lost his life that day in the Pentagon. In the wake of the tragedy, Naperville assembled a memorial within a year to honor Commander Shanauer and those who lost their lives on September 11th. The Century Walk will be um, extremely meaningful going forward because if you look at it and then you put a bigger story behind each one of those faces, each one of those people, and, and know that the contribution um, for our community is much bigger than any one person. The city of Naperville would not be the town it is without the many service groups in our community. To pay tribute to these organizations, 